Hey there, I'm Peter Michaels from 106.7 The Drive and another isolation edition of Friday Crafternoons presented by Bose Barn Stage where you can do, of course, curbside pickup and now offering delivery as well of the great food at Bose. Today on Friday Crafternoons, we're going to have a beer that I know Bose would be super proud to have in that dining room as Bose has always supported a lot of community events and helped raise a lot of money uh, in central Alberta. And this beer is doing that as well. We'll tell you all about that as we chat with Jasmine from Blind Man Brewing. Jasmine, what do you do at Blind Man? Uh, a little bit of, well, pretty much everything on the brewing side. Um, I help a little bit. Um, in off packing and then cellaring, basic cellaring tasks, so cleaning tanks and whatnot. Okay, and then you got to work on uh, this very special beer uh, that has a special cause to go along with it as well. Tell us about this Midnight Orchard. Uh, the proceeds from the sale of this beer are going towards the Central Alberta Women's Emergency Shelter? Yeah, yeah, a portion of it is definitely going to um, the cause. And uh, yeah, we did it as an International Women's Day brew with a bunch of women from um, around the community that tend to support blind men. Uh, so uh, a few of the girls from like Sancho and Chive and whatnot all kind of came in and we got together and, and brewed this beer. On the back of the can, um, there's a whole bunch of names of all the women that were like joined us that day. Um, they're just kind of hard to see with the black on black label, but yeah. All right, well, let's have a taste of your creation. It's a, a dark fruited lager. Yes. Now, yep. I've talked to a couple of people about this beer, and the first question is, is well, what kind of fruit? Um, we use cherries and peaches for this one. Um, they didn't come through quite as strong as I was hoping for, but, you know, something to work on for next time, so. That's right. Okay, well, I've been very looking forward to uh, having a taste of this, so cheers. Okay. Cheers. Oh, very refreshing. Oh, and that's it. There's, that cherry is in there for sure. Yeah, the cherry comes through a bit, especially if you find the more you kind of get through the can, it comes out a little bit more and you notice it better, so. It is a lager, so it still has that very crisp and refreshing taste to it. Yeah. yeah and what, uh, what I love about the story on the back of the can, I'm a big fan of Jack White. And Jack yeah. White has always said he likes to use the oldest, most beat up guitars he can because it makes it a challenge. Yeah. And on the back of the can is a story that you guys wanted this beer to be a challenge. How so? Yeah, um, so we started by, well, making it a dark lager, which in itself is quite difficult just because getting the black color to come through without a ton of roastiness or bitterness, it like was quite difficult. So we decided to do um, a production sized cold steep, which uh, basically is soaking just the black malts in cold water overnight um, before pushing them into the mash tun, or sorry, the boil kettle which is not very common to do on a production size scale. It's definitely more of a home brewer's trick. Um, so that was uh, interesting. We had to move everything that was in the, our holding tank like out into kegs and push it into the boil kettle as fast as possible with 10 minutes left. Um, so grateful to have a lot of hands there at that point. Um, and then we decided to use a different uh, lager strain than we have already used before. Um, it's a high pressure, uh, fast fermenting lager strain. So that was something we hadn't played with yet at all. And then, yeah, adding the fruit on top of it all, just to, you know. <laughs> so so w was there any point in the process where you're like, okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea, but we're into it and we got to give it a go? Uh, when, well, I started doing some Googling just on like, you know, what are typical fruiting rates or like what black malt should I use? And the information is not really out there. And I was like, oh, you know, for a second year student who doesn't have that much experience, I might have bit off a little more than I can chew. <laughs> um, fortunately, uh, our other brewer, Lisa, helped me through a lot of that. So, but, yeah, it was great working with her that way, so. Awesome. Well, I can tell you for sure the end result is absolutely amazing. Good job. Thanks. 